Someone is saying that this person is faking their disability? Hey there. I know some of you might recognize me from my initial posts on Instagram. I've been hiding. A lot. And not showing exactly what this has done to me. But I'm done hiding. And I'm done being scared. There are several stories like mine. The same doctors who told us this was safe. Are the same doctors brushing us off as if we didn't matter. It is now time. That we are heard. Seen. And believed. Look at the cord from her fingers. It's an iPhone charger. What? No. I've been hiding. Oh my god, is that literally an iPhone charger? No, 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 no. This is so dangerous saying people are faking their disabilities. Okay, so before we have disability activists yell at me, this is something that I should have immediately mentioned. One of the most common ways that uh, disabled people get marginalized is when you have either an invisible disability or that you have a, a disability that renders you unable to walk without assistance, but then sometimes you can stand. So people often will say you're faking it. That's like a huge problem within the disability community. People thinking that you're faking the uh, disability. However, the people that fake disabilities make that significantly worse because people are already like skeptical or questioning or uh, marginalizing disabled people regardless. And then when shit like this happens, they point to it and go, oh my God, see, this person was faking it. Other people are faking it too. I have Tourette's, but I can go for days or even weeks without ticking really bad. And I always get anxiety that people don't understand that I'm not always ticking and think I'm faking it. No, I, I totally get that. I totally get that. Except a lot of anti-vaxxers have historically done exactly this. Fake a disability so they can get fucking brownie points or, and brownie points being, because there is no fucking brownie points with uh, getting a disability, but uh, you know, this. Donate to my GoFundMe, follow my journey, vaccine adverse events reporting system. She has a literal fucking VAERS uh, uh, link on her link tree and has raised $17,000 so far to recover from the COVID-19 vaccine. You're going to tell me this shit's real, dude? You're going to tell me this this lady like is, is real? It isn't be easy being passed from doctor to doctor since March, but I'm here trying to push through all this madness. I wonder why they're passing her from doctor to doctor. Probably because not a single doctor is like, you have a problem. That other chatter's experience with Therese is exactly why I said it's dangerous. In this context, this person looks like an absolute asshole and I think she's faking. Yeah. But uh, yeah, don't immediately assume that someone is fucking faking. When you see someone with a disability, it's really fucked up. Especially because like, they're already living with a fucking disability before you're gonna, before you're gonna shit on her or him or them. Yes. Uh, this is the most famous one. Dubstep Wobble Girl. For those of you who don't know, also emerged, known as Hot Cheerleader Hoax on TYT, also known as Desiree Jennings. Outing Jennings' claim to dystonia, the public sympathetic attitude towards her began to wane and she quickly was becoming a laughing stock. People began posting reaction commentary videos which made fun of the woman's walk on YouTube. <laughs> Public opinion began to sway against Jennings and she was being collectively goofed on by the internet. The folks over at the Inside Edition were several weeks deep into a project which they hoped when finished would expose the truth about the woman and her claims. Inside Edition had been covertly filming Desiree Jennings out in public spaces across a span of a- Yeah, back when Insider Edition was like actually doing good fucking journalism. ...couple of weeks. And during their undercover filming operation, they discovered that when Jennings thought no one was filming her, she magically had no symptoms but look at Jen just wait this part is really good this part is really good inside edition supplied this video of her walking normally playing with her dogs shopping and even driving inside edition had been secret some of you are watching this for the first time ever realizing that you only saw the first part and did not realize that this person was faking their disability by the way because that's how fucking devastating anti-vaxxers and their fucking insane propaganda is. Even after she was fucking exposed, anti-vaxxers still use the first part. Why is this illegal? I don't know. I want her to go to jail. Like, I, I, I hope she goes to jail. I mean, I would hope that she goes to jail. Secretly taping Jennings for weeks. We've been trying to reach you and you have not been returning our phone calls. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? It looks like you've made a complete recovery. Watch. Watch. She, watch. Watch this part. It's so good. Uh, well, I don't want to say complete recovery. I still have a lot of cognitive, cognitive issues. 
I mean, they, they, people are free for to, to believe whatever they want. I got cognitive issues. One of them is remembering it's the top of the fucking hour. Time for a 60 second ad break right now. They won't, but you know, I mean, clearly what I've been going through, I know it's not psychogenic and it's not a hoax. So By now, it's you've not. probably noticed Jennings spoke with a foreign accent that she'd never had before. I'm from Ohio. I should not be talking like this. One more thing to notice, when Inside Edition first approached Jennings in this parking lot, she seemed to be walking normally. But after their interview, she walked to her car sideways, saying it was dystonia. I remember Chad saying this turned them anti-vax when they were young, when we watched this last time. Yeah, that's how fucking devastating anti-vaxxers are. They will lie, and even when exposed, they will still use the first part of the fucking video to continue lying to people. I want to jump on quick, quickly. And I just wanted to, to show you guys, I'm NHS staff. And I had my COVID jab on the, on the 17th of March. That left me with seizures and I was paralyzed for like two weeks, but it's left me with tick attacks. And I just wanted to show you what happens. Is it attention? Like, what, what do you think it is? Like, I, I, I do feel like I got this fucking tan, yeah? I got a fucking COVID vax, yeah? Because I'm a part of the fucking NHS, yeah? And all of a sudden, I have this urge to go to the fucking tanning salon, right? All of a sudden, I'm dancing. I got this fucking fake tan. Like, I'm on Love Island, right, bruv? Got the vaccine, but where's the vaccine for being British, dude? Doesn't exist. Now I keep saying it's Tuesday, in it. So I just thought I'd jump on quick. So, so I have a quick question. How the fuck is the phone not flying out of her hand? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can have like uncontrollable ticks on nearly every part of your body that fits the frame of a camera and not the fucking camera that you are, you know, filming yourself with. Munchausen, dude, 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 stop. I know what it is called. Munchausen syndrome is still different than what these people are doing. Okay. Munchausen syndrome. Uh, a factitious disorder imposed on self is when someone tries to get attention and sympathy by falsifying, inducing, or exaggerating an illness. This is like something beyond Munchausen, dude. Oh, Fox Memo details mass requirements and vaccine passport system while the network keeps railing against them for everyone else, by the way. They fucking did it. They found it. Some brave Fox News media member actually leaked it to the media. They did. Fox News, dear colleagues, as all of you know, at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. What? What the fuck? Okay, here are some of the steps we're currently taking given the rise of COVID cases nationwide. We've asked all employees, whether on site, as part of our essential workforce, or working remotely, to upload their, upload their vaccination status in the workday. This is being done for space planning and contract tracing purposes in conjunction with the CDC state city health safety guidelines. Last week, we reinstated our on-site COVID testing program every Monday and Thursday for select essential employees due to their work environment within our New York offices. In our New York offices, masks remain optional for vaccinated individuals, but are strongly encouraged in public areas throughout the building. However, we are requiring employees to wear a mask in small confined spaces with limited opportunities for social distancing. That's so weird. All employees and vendors are required to complete a daily screening ahead of reporting to work. At many locations, we ask to display either a work care, go to work green screen or a Fox clear pass to a security representative upon entering the building or workspace. Wow. Wait, it says that your health and safety are always a pro top priority. That's crazy. Isn't this New York regulations? Yeah, but they have to, they comply with New York regulations, which means that they are either completely vaccinated or, or even when they're completely vaccinated, they still have to wear masks. That's really, really weird that they have these rules and yet all the Fox News hosts are fucking crying about it in the news. Almost like these rules help people and they know that they it helps people, which is precisely why they don't have a fucking problem when they have to abide by them or when they go and get the jab. But they portray themselves in an entirely different way when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the outward facing rhetoric. To your state uh, really quickly here and as a response coming after your state yes. because the increased covid numbers hospitalizations deaths are up in texas uh and there's a direct assault on your governor's policies and your state's policies yeah. very brief response yeah well laura the the covid is spreading particularly uh, most of the numbers are with the unvaccinated and the democrats like to blame republicans on that well the biggest group in most states 
are African Americans who have not been vaccinated. The last time I checked, over 90% of them vote for Democrats in their major cities and major counties. So it's up to the Democrats to get, just as it's up to Republicans, to try to get as many people vaccinated. But we respect the fact that if people... Yeah, totally, dude. That's, that's, uh, you know, notice how suspiciously it's never white people. It's always like either black people that's spreading COVID or it's immigrants that's spreading COVID. It's never like the hogs that we see routinely go around like, no way, no shot. I'm going to be fucking wearing a god dang mask or god dang get that fucking shot. I'll shoot you in the fucking face. Like, it's never those guys, okay? Also, if it's those guys that don't want to get the vaccine, then, you know, they're brave patriots. I mean, this is literally the fucking, this is just the most mask off you can get, dude. It's a muzzle. It's a god dang muzzle. When a what has to be wearing it. Incredible stuff, dude. Let's run that back. I want to hear that racism again. Well, Laura, the, the COVID is spreading, particularly uh, most of the numbers are with the unvaccinated and the Democrats like to blame Republicans on that. Well, the biggest group in most states are African-Americans who have not been vaccinated. The last time I checked, over 90% of them vote for Democrats in their major... This is literally the worst thing I've ever heard. First of all, even proportionally, it one, false. The biggest group of people who are not vaccinated are not actually divided by racial boundaries, but instead by political ideology, okay? And it's fucking Republicans. So that's number one. Number two, Black people don't make up that large of a percentage of the population in totality. When he says... It's actually black people that are not vaccinated. They're making up. He's just talking about the percentage of black people that haven't gotten vaccinated, but it doesn't matter because black people make up 13% of the population. So no, it's actually white Republican dudes that are not vaccinated. It's like the largest chunk, okay? In totality, it's the largest fucking chunk of individuals that have not been vaccinated. We fact check Fox News' racist lie. It turns out the pandemic is worse in Republican states. Yeah, I wonder why, by the way. I wonder why. Oh, wait, it's because they're not fucking vaccinated. <sighs> COVID is spreading. Most of the numbers are uh, with the unvaccinated. Patrick White explained before Fox News, Larry Ingram and babbled about uh, TikTok videos. The second in command of the country's second most populous state didn't misspeak. Since African-Americans are 12.9% of the state's population and 7.9% of the vaccinations, Patrick knows black Texans are more vaccinated than white Texans. Oh no, that's, oh no, that is. Patrick knows black Texans are more vaccinated than white Texans. Nationwide, black Americans have been getting vaccinated at higher rates than whites. Wait, this doesn't show what he's uh, uh, saying, though. I don't understand. He's saying the number of people vaccinated uh, of black people is 1.2. The number of people vaccinated is 5 million, and that's 34%. Oh, this is... I misunderstood. It's saying percentage of people vaccinated with respect to the total population. Not 7% of black people are vaccinated. 7% of people that are vaccinated are black. So 34, 35% of the... People that are vaccinated are white. I don't know why they would show it like this. Patrick knows that there are three times more white people in Texas than black people. He knows that there are five times more white people in America than black people. So he knows the biggest group in most states are African-Americans who have not been vaccinated is not true. Yeah, okay, so I was right about that. Uh, okay, good. It's a bigoted take? No, it doesn't matter. Black people are still, despite not trusting medicine, as a consequence of uh, historical medical racism, a phenomenon that is taught in medical school, by the way, if you don't believe me, fucking look it up. Even with that, black people are vaccinated at higher percentages than white people in the state of Texas. So... There is that reality. So what he is doing is uh, being a fucking racist asshole. Now, even before we knew those numbers, it still wouldn't matter. Why? Well, because Fox News literally tailors their entire rhetoric and their news coverage towards a predominantly white population that doesn't want to get vaccinated. Their position is, it's okay if you don't want to be vaccinated. But then they turn around and they're like, well, it's actually the black people that are spreading COVID. And that's really fucked up and incredibly racist. He knows what big is means. Patrick knows how numbers work, but it's hard to prove that he was lying about the Democrat statement. Aside from polling, there really isn't much data because no one has compared COVID deaths, deaths or even vaccination rates to political parties. We looked up, but we couldn't find a very specific data. So we did it ourselves. State pandemic status by party affiliation. Trump state have 53.04 cases uh, per day. This is per capita, by the way. Biden states have 27 per capita. Hospitalizations are 30% uh, per capita. Uh, Biden states 14% deaths per day. And remember, the Trump states oftentimes are rural. And what that means, it's it's harder for fucking COVID to spread and shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot going on that makes the uh, the Trump states that are uh, less population dense, that should be a built-in mechanism for uh, not spreading COVID. There's also that little uh, part of that, too.
FDA wants to give full... Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God. Oh, fuck yes, dude. Breaking news. Folks, the FDA is aiming to give full approval to Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine on Monday, according to people familiar with the agency's planning. The move is expected to pave the way for a series of vaccine mandates. Let's fucking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, why is this good? A lot of people will think, oh my God, I'm going to own people in arguments by saying FDA authorization came. What now, idiot? Ha! You fool. Those motherfuckers were going to move the goalpost anyway. Now they're going to say the FDA is corrupt. The goalpost will shift. That does not matter. What matters is FDA authorization means mandates, baby. Man fucking dates. Now you don't need any special exceptions. The military will start enforcing the vaccine mandate. That is millions and millions of employees automatically. Bam. The federal government will enforce mandates. Schools will have more liberty in spite of psychotic right-wing reactionary governors to be able to also impose mandates. So we could even see a federal travel restriction. And that makes me very happy. That makes me very happy. One, because more people are going to, more hesitant people are going to go out and force, uh, be forced to fucking, you know, uh, get the vaccine. And two, finally, we're going to reach a higher percentage of vaccinated. Hopefully that will eradicate some of the stress that Southern states are currently seeing in their, uh, you know, ICUs. There's no way you agree with people being forced to do something they don't want to. It's called public health, my friend. Yes, I do agree with that for sure. I believe in laws. I am not a fucking crusty ass, no theory reading ass anarchist. I believe in fucking laws. Like for example, if someone wants to fuck little kids, I think that that is very, very fucking wrong and they should be punished. There should be rules against that. Okay. Sorry. You can't just be like, Oh, I want to do that though. Nope. Not happening. You do not have an individual liberty to get COVID and spread COVID. You don't, especially because it puts undue stress on hospitals especially in rural areas legally we do though wrong first of all legality does not trump morality but also you're wrong so it doesn't even matter the cdc's powers are awesome and i don't mean like awesome as in like it's awesome awesome in like the actual correct awesome powers uh uh term if the CDC wanted, they could legally arrest you at gunpoint and lock you in a fucking FEMA facility. And that is a good power to have. So you are completely incorrect. Supreme Court case on this, you can be forced to be inoculated. Yes, and people have been forcibly inoculated in the past. So thank you for your uh, contribution. But having said that, you are wrong. <laughs> Someone, someone responded on Twitter to my fucking tweet that I just quote tweeted saying, Dua Lipa Spart says, yes, everyone go get vaccinated or Hassan will buy another house. That's right. I'll fucking do it. I will literally do it, dude. I will fucking do it. Oh my God. I will do it. My county Harris in Texas started giving hundred dollar incentives to people who are getting their first jabs and it's caused traffic jam near the vaccine site. Go get their jabs, Texans. Fuck yeah. Yay, yeah, yeah, yay, brother. Biden administration is doing a vaccine booster shot rollout. Third shots are coming. The this morning, the Biden administration telling vaccinated Americans who received the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine to start planning for a third dose. Eight months after your second shot, get a booster shot. It will make you safer and for longer and it will help us end the pandemic faster. Health officials citing recent data showing the vaccine's protection against COVID slowly decreasing over time, leaving many more at risk for severe illness. Our George Stephanopoulos sitting down with the president just hours after the announcement, asking if he and his wife had received a booster yet. We're gonna get the booster shots. And uh, it's something that I think, uh, you know, because we, we got our shots all the way back in, I think, December. So it's, it's, it's past time. The booster shots will be available for free with no insurance or ID required. The program rolling out the week of September Let's 20th, start. a program already protecting many of the immunocompromised like 28 year old Christine Smith. I can't wait to get my fucking update boys. DLC, DLC time, baby. The CDC and FDA recommended it on Friday and I 
went and got my boots. My name changed paper. We went inside Baton Rouge General Medical Center, where they're treating nearly 200 infected patients more than any other time in the pandemic, and more than 90% of them are unvaccinated. We want to take everybody that we possibly can and do everything we can for people, uh, but we, we don't have the means for it. 39-year-old disaster relief worker Jessica Cooper is fighting back from COVID, at one point even typing a goodbye text to her 11-year-old daughter. What's what's wild is that, like, we have the third booster shot coming in while, like, fucking countries haven't been able to distribute vaccines like first shots to most of their fucking citizens why is that crazy well the fucking international community is freaking the fuck out one on america and also two on international pharmaceutical corporations that would offer america booster shots before like offering the delivery of uh first shots or any vaccine doses to like the developing nations now the irony of course is that the delta variant which is the reason why we now need booster shots here in America, literally was created as a consequence of like the vaccine uh, development discrepancy. This is the nefarious and Love shitty part of the how uh, pharmaceutical Asshole. corporations fuck you. Not that they are like developing booster shots and that's bad, but the way that they fuck you is by selling the fucking uh, vaccines to United States and not releasing the pharmaceutical patterns uh, 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 the patents so that everyone can have the vaccine, which would render the uh, booster shots useless ultimately when every country reaches herd immunity or at least greatly reduces the chances that we need booster shots. That's it. That's the face of a fucking uh, big pharma CEO. You. I want vaccine mandates. That's what I want. But in the absence of vaccine mandates, then yeah, like... You gotta fucking wear a mask.